So I just want to give, you know, some quick tools about um, how to water your seeds and, and things that you can do to continue to nurture and, and grow, right? So one thing that I just want to put out there is journaling. Mm-hmm. Journaling is a great way to process your thoughts, understand your feelings, and make connections between your thoughts and your feelings, right? Um, mindfulness exercises are good to remind you to get connected to your present, to really sit and understand your feelings, right? Um, mm-hmm. Identify your support system. Who are the people you can go to? Who who are those people in your tribe that you can trust to process with? Um, yeah. Identify the sources of your negative Im- of negative images. Reevaluate, limit, and block those sources out as needed. Um, identify act- activities that help you to self soothe. Um, physical activity, taking a bath, listening to music, reading, getting re- getting fresh air. All of those things are self care. Those are the things that kind of help us to like rejuvenate, reset. And so you need to be making sure that you're doing those things. Um, setting your goals, being realistic and developing plans to be able to succeed and celebrate along the way, making sure that your goals are based on what you want and not necessarily what other people expect from you or suggest that you should be having. Um, find a therapist to support you, challenge you and encourage you along the way as you continue to heal, nurture and grow your seeds. Um, affirmations, use those to reaffirm your positive thoughts and feelings and goals. And remember that struggling does not mean that you're failing, you know, um, and then creating a safe space in your home, the place where you can do all the things that you need to do in order to be connected to understand and process your thoughts and your feelings. Yes. Yes. All these Um, are amazing. And Lastly, I just want to say, you know, in terms of the the theme of planting seeds, right? Mm -hmm. Just as the seasons change and you have the opportunity to nurture and repot and prepare for growth for your seeds over the um, next season in your life, you also get to decide how and if the seeds are ones that you want to see in the next season for your life, right? Um, How you want them to show up. And so you get to nurture and heal the seeds you want to flourish and discard the discard the ones that you no longer serve the purpose for your harvest. So making sure that you really pay attention to the seeds you want to continue to grow and letting go of the ones that no longer serve the your purpose and align with your goals. Ooh. I, I'm in agreement, Camille. Struggling does not mean you're failing. Hmm. Doesn't mean you're failing. It doesn't. You know, we always have a moment where we didn't knock it out the park. But if we keep on going, keep on trying, there's always a time where something goes a little over. Um, or you kept your lights on a little bit more than you thought yeah. that you needed to build was a little bit more. You didn't yeah. budget for it and things that sort. It kind of cut into another budget that you have for something for yourself or your savings and things that sort. It doesn't happen all the time. Right. You know, but we create bumpers to help us to continue to go forward with that. Again, that journaling, talking yes. to somebody, seeking that support. 